Scientists have made substantial progress in their attempts to develop a test that can spot Parkinson's disease in its early stages. Research has shown a molecule linked to the brain condition could be detected in samples of spinal fluid. The discovery could lead to earlier diagnosis of the disease, as Richard Lister reports. I went to see my GP with symptoms which I thought were early onset of arthritis. He said straight away, I think you've got early, early Parkinson's. Ian Oster got that news a decade ago. Parkinson's eventually cost him his job as a solicitor and, more recently, his driver's licence. He doesn't think an earlier diagnosis would have helped his case, but he says it could help others plan their futures and take part in research to delay the onset of symptoms. If people were, if were diagnosed earlier on and they were given the opportunity of taking part in, in this research, I think, yes, that definitely is a positive step. You may have more time to discuss options with uh, your doctor, with your neurologist, and decide which is the best step for you. One in 500 people in the UK have Parkinson's. That's about 127,000. The main symptoms are tremors, rigidity and slowness of movement, symptoms that can be controlled with drugs and therapies. Diagnosis, though, can take time because there's no definitive test for the condition. But scientists are now a step closer to developing one. These researchers are testing for the human version of mad cow disease. The team in Edinburgh that devised this test have now refined it to spot Parkinson's too. It needs more work, but early results are promising. This could be the diagnosis technique of the future. If we had a test that could find people right at the early stages, that would alleviate a lot of um, concern, but also it could be used for finding treatments that might be able to slow or prevent Parkinson's. There's still no cure for Parkinson's, but the hope is that if it's diagnosed earlier, it can be treated earlier too, and could give people like Ian a better quality of life. Richard Lister, BBC News.